Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is Friday of the fourth week in Ordinary Time. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church, integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my, my mouth, mouth shall declare your praise. Come, let us praise the Lord, in Him is all our delight. Come, let us praise the Lord, in Him is all our delight. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him, singing for joy. Come, let us praise the Lord, in Him is all our delight. Know that He, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to Him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Come, let us praise the Lord. In him is all our delight. Go within his gates, giving thanks. Enter his courts with song of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Come, let us praise the Lord. In him is all our delight. Indeed, how good is the Lord. Eternal his merciful love. is faithful from age to age. Come, let us praise the Lord. In Him is all our delight. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us praise the Lord. In Him is all our delight. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Renew in me a steadfast spirit. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out all my offense. O wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done? that you may be satisfied when you give sentence, and be without reports when you just. O she in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart. Then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O purify me, then I shall be clean. O wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me heal, rejoicing in gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. For my sins, turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. 
Give me again the joy of your help. With the spirit of welfare, sustain me. That may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O oh, rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O oh, Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight. When offering for me you will refuse. My sacrifice a contact spirit, a humble contact heart you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocaust offered on your altar. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Rejoice, Jerusalem, for through you all men will be gathered to the Lord. Let all men speak of the Lord's majesty and sing his praises in Jerusalem. O Jerusalem, holy city, is called to you for the, for the work of our hands, but will again pity the children of the righteous. Praise the Lord for his goodness and bless the King of the ages, so that his tent may be rebuilt in you with joy. May he gladden within you all who were captives, all who were ravaged. May he cherish within you for, for all generations to come. A bright light will shine to all parts of the earth. Many nations shall come to you from afar, and the inhabitants of all the limits of the earth, drawn to you by the name of the Lord God, bearing in their hands their gifts for the King of Heaven. Every generation shall give joyful praise in you, and shall call you the Chosen One through all ages forever. Go then, rejoice over the children of the righteous, who shall all be gathered together, and shall bless the Lord of the ages. Happy are those who love you, and happy those who rejoice in your prosperity. Happy are all the men who shall grieve over you, over all your chastisements. For they shall rejoice in you, as they behold all your, all your joy forever. My spirit blesses the Lord, the great King. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Zion, praise your God, who sent his word to renew the earth. O praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Zion, praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed the children within you. He established peace on your borders. He feeds you with finest wheat. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. He showers down snow with wet as wool. He scatters her force like ashes. He hurls down hailstones like crumbs. The waters are frozen at his touch. He sends forth his word and it melts them. At the breath of his mouth the waters flow. He makes his word known to Jacob to sell his laws and decrees. He has not dealt thus with others' nation. He has not taught them his decrees. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honor you with all our mind, and love everyone in truth of heart through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit god forever and ever amen please be seated a reading from the letter to the hebrews let brotherly love continue do not neglect hospitality for through it some have unknowingly entertained angels be mindful of prisoners as if sharing their imprisonment and of the ill-treated as of yourselves, for you also are in the body. Let marriage be honored among all, and the marriage bed be kept undefiled, for God will judge the immoral and adulterers. Let your life be free from love of money, but be content with what you have, for he has said, 
I will never forsake you or abandon you. Thus we may say with confidence, The Lord is my helper, and I will not be afraid. What can anyone do to me? Remember your leaders who spoke the word of God to you. Consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. Though an army encamp against me, my heart will not fear. Though war be waged upon me, even then will I trust. The Lord is my light and my salvation. For he will hide me in his abode in the day of trouble. He will conceal me in the shelter of his tent. He will set me high upon a rock. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Your presence, O Lord, I seek. Hide not, hide not your face from me. Do not in anger repel your servant. You are my helper. Cast me not off. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Please stand. Blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield the harvest through perseverance. be with you and with your spirit a reading from holy gospel according to mark glory to you o lord king herod heard about jesus for his fame had become widespread and people were saying john the baptist has been raised from the dead that is why mighty powers are at work in him others were saying he is Elijah. Still others, he is a prophet like any of the prophets. But when Herod learned of it, he said, It is John whom I beheaded. He was being raised up. Herod was the one who had John arrested and born in prison on account of Herodias, the wife of his brother Philip, whom he had married. John had said to Herod, It is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. Herodias harbored a girl against him and wanted to kill him but was unable to do so. Herod feared John, knowing him to be righteous and holy man, and kept him in custody. When he heard him speak, he was very much perplexed, yet he liked to listen to him. Herodias had an opportunity one day when Herod, on his birthday, gave a banquet for his courtiers, his military officers, and the leading men of Galilee. His own daughter came in and performed a dance that delighted Herod and his guests. The king said to the girl, Ask of me whatever you wish and will grant it to you. He even swore many things to her. I will grant you whatever you ask of me, even to half of my kingdom. She went out and said to her mother, What shall I ask for? Her mother replied, the head of John the Baptist. The girl hurried back to the king's presence 
and met her request. I want you to give me at once on her platter the head of John the Baptist. The king was deeply distressed, but because of his oath and the guests, he did not wish to break his word to her. So he promptly dispatched an executioners with orders to bring back his head. He went off and beheaded him in the prison. He brought him in the head on a platter and gave it to the girl. The girl in turn gave it to her mother. When his disciples heard about it, they came and took his body and laid it in a tomb. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po. And welcome to the Minor Basilica of Already of Manawak. Alam mo ba po, every time I see this basilica full of people or pilgrims, I was so touched. It inspires me to be more prayerful. Bakit po? Because I see great faith in you. For me, you are humble enough to realize that you still need, you still need God's grace and His guidance. So, you sacrifice a lot by woke up early in the morning and coming to this basilica to pray. And it's good to start our day by praising God and worshiping Him so that the whole day and night we can be guided by the Holy Spirit. My brothers and sisters, speaking of guidance in, the, in today's gospel, which we just heard, there are two kinds of guidance. First, good guidance, and second, bad guidance. In the beginning, King Herod followed the guidance of John the Baptist, as it is said that Herod was very much perplexed when he listened to John, so he feared him and did not kill him. However, in the end, John was beheaded by Herod because John followed the guidance of Herodias. The, guardian, the guidance was led by the anger and hatred. As the result, John was distressed. In other words, the guidance of Herodias is evil. So why did Herod follow the bad guidance? It might happen for many reasons. Perhaps he was drunk. Remember, it was on her, his birthday party. Or maybe the dance of Herodias' daughter was so immodest, it full of lust. And more than that, because Herod was so arrogant, has he said to the girl, Ask of me whatever you wish, and I will grant it to you. By saying this, Herod acted like God, who can do anything. Likewise, in the story of original sin in the book of Genesis, the main reason why Adam and Eve was tempted, were tempted by the serpent and then ate the forbidden fruit is because they want to be like God. They want to know everything, including bad or good. So they, Adam and Eve, fell into sin. Mga kapatid, our lives as Christians is always exposed to the temptation of the devil. Indeed, by its fruits, we will know whether it is good or bad. John the Baptist's guidance gave Herod peace, while Herodias Herodias' guidance make Herod distress. 
Therefore, as we continue this Eucharistic celebration, let us pray to God, let us God, so that we can grow stronger in humility, in holiness, and in fear of God. As a result, we can always follow the good guidance and avoid the bad guidance. Indeed, and please remember, the fruit of bad guidance is sin, but the fruit of good guidance is faith, hope, and love. So, which one shall we follow? Please all stand. Our struggle against the forces of evil will be successful to the degree we unite ourselves in prayer. So let us pray to the God of truth as we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of the church, like St. John, may become courageous proclaimers of the gospel of truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may give wholehearted support to the church struggle against those dark forces that enslave men to violence and crime. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. That as Christians, we may be focal in our concern against those who exploit and for those who are exploited through po political pressure and corrupt practices. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are victims of oppression may finally gain justice, freedom, and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For vocations and the needs of the province, and for our brothers and ministry at St. John Lateran and St. Albert the Great. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, and for our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, your love for us never changes or fades away. Give us the courage to walk in your presence all the days of our lives. And we ask this through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Let us pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Soy gunita in sarili na inihangin diyan pagkaimihumi ilagsasanuhan natin hanggang sa siya'y dumating hanggang sa siya'y Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saints Dominic and Francis, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer is other the sign of peace. Be with you. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of, the of the world. Have, have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb of God, God you take, take away the sins of the, of the world. world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you, you take, take away, away the sins of the, of the world. Grant, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Paalala po sa lahat sa inyong pagtanggap ng communion. Bago humarap sa magbibigay ng communion, pakibaba na po ang face mask. Kapag sinabi sa inyo, Body of Christ, tanggapin ng inyong dalawang kamay ang hostia at sumagot ng Amen. At isubo na agad ang hostia. Huwag po ninyong isubo habang naglalakad at dalong huwag dalhin sa upuan ng hostia upang maiwasan po ang pagkahulog nito.
Please stand. Through the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. Blessed be the God, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised, he promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he showed to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Through the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. Let us now pray the litany of gratitude after the COVID pandemic. Brothers and sisters, let us approach the Lord who makes all things new. For all the blessings and graces we received during the COVID pandemic, let us say together, thanks be to God. Thanks be to God for reminding us of the fragility of life and opening our minds to what is really essential. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God for allowing us to connect with one another despite the isolation that sickness had imposed on us. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the heroic kindness of those who provided us with scientific, social, and spiritual help, and for the gift of newly discovered vaccines. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the gift of assuring presence when we were anxious and depressed during the pandemic. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. Loving God, you entered our world of sickness, suffering and death, and you know the fears we face. Accept our thanksgiving for your provident love during the COVID pandemic. As you wept at the death of Lazarus, breathe the breath of life everlasting on all those who died from the coronavirus. You have turned our fears into joy and for this, we thank and praise you. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. Saint Michael, the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, True faith may ever increase through Christ our Lord. Amen. So once again, brothers and sisters, we thank you for your gifts of presence. And uh, sana po ay pagpatuloy natin ipagdasalang bawat isa. Kayo makakaasa na palagi rin po namin kasama ang inyong mga petisyon, ang inyong mga intention sa aming mga panalangin. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go for the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, God. to God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick. Kung kayo ay merong nararamdaman sa inyong sarili, o di kaya kayo ay substitute para sa mga hindi makapunta dito for one reason or another, I invite you to put your right hand over your chest and ask for the grace of healing. God, our Almighty Father, 
by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters free them from all illness and restore them to good health in accordance with your divine will through the intercession of our lady of the rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness they will gratefully bless your holy name we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We shall now have the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, crucifixes, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and for those who will use them be made holy too in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen amen <laughs> 